for that your upcoming event or program to be hosted and yet not being on Jab TV platform. You know why? Jab TV, we showcase events, we cover events, and we showcase it to the entire world so that they can be part of your event held no matter the distance or location. I am Fumelayo Okorafo. Okay, this is still Jab TV. Today we are bringing to you the day two, which is of course the social event held in honor of late Honorable Godwin A. Osazu who passed on to glory at the age of 75. His socials was held in a siren environment. People, friends, relatives, well-wishers, his children, all gathered, converged with different meetings. Yeah, when I say different meetings, I mean different meetings. They all came together to celebrate the life and times of this hero who has departed this world to be with his maker. This is our showcase. This is our package for you. Please, if you have not subscribed to Jeb TV, do so right away. Subscribe to our channel today. Like and share this video. Drop your comments on our comment section. Without boring you with too much words, without wasting your time, we are moving down to the reception venue of late Honorable Godwin A. Osezoa, a.k.a. Pa Oredo. Do enjoy. Seal Event Center was the venue for the socials held in honor of late Honorable Godwin A. Osazuwa, a.k.a. Pa Oredo, aged 75, as Jeb TV drone was high up in the sky to capture the siren environment. And as guests were coming into the venue, Jeb TV hosted red carpets. We are still alive on the red carpet of our great hero who has departed this world to be with his maker. And I'm right standing with his very first son. Sir, please, your name. Yeah, my name is Edwin Osazua. Okay, so how can you describe your late father? Yeah, my father is um, he's a great man. He's a man of integrity. And the kind of person that when he say this is A, it's A. When he say, okay, just go for this. And when you go for it, you see the results. And he carried everybody along. What was that thing he did while you were growing up with him? That back then, at, though you were young, you felt, oh, that is too harsh. But today, those things became what has made you who you are. Can you remember some of yeah, them? Yeah, very well. I remember then, when we were home, we come back from school. He said, nobody should leave the house. But sometimes, we just go out there and play. But when we, when we heard, you heard him coming from afar, we have to run back home wash our leg wow. and go inside again, <laughs> pretend as if we are inside. But when he come, he know that we were outside. Okay. But he just feel, you pretend as if he don't know what is happening, but he knows. So that, that thing make me to become strong. That is the same way I'm still using for my own children okay. now. So I mix him so very much. I'm proud of him anyway, and I mix him so much. So I wish he can come back to life again. I will be very, very happy. How can you describe your late father? My dad was a very straightforward person. A very loyal person and uh, a very smart person. He, uh, his yes is his yes and his, ye his, his no is his no. I miss him. He's a good man. Very good. But he has a good man. He a good a Ibekani, a Kamia, in a Tamia said, You're near Quick Hogg, because of my Bible, near Quick Hogg, near ya, a here, near ya, near, near, to be a dole, be a ye, eh, now I do like Buya. Okay, how can you describe um, late Pa Godwin? Uh, actually, I saw him just once when I came to marry my wife because we don't stay here in Nigeria. He was uh, a hero, the second father to me also because he really helped me to have a successful wedding to the daughter. He was really nice and ever since then I spoke to him a few times on the phone and uh, he's a great man and I, a father that I never had also. He's the second father to me. He's a very soft-spoken person, kind-hearted man, lovely, loves his family. He puts the family together by unite us together. Even you can see from the way people are coming at this uh, better ceremony. Uh, my condolence to the family is that they should be. Uh, they won't see a father like him anymore. 
They should just be here. And God will be with them. The hall was filled to capacity as people came all the way from both within and outside the state to celebrate the life and times of this great hero. The children accompanied by their sisters and other relatives danced round to welcome and appreciate their guests. There was an opening prayer in Edo language. The music band on Grand Uwelu Boy entertained the audience as entertainment were immediately distributed to guests by one of the sisters, popularly known as Enogi Renters. Enjoying this video, please subscribe to Jap TV. Click on the notification button, like and share this video so that YouTube will recommend it to others. Thank you. Mouth watching delicacies were served from both ends of the hall. The children had their very first dance.
The children stepped onto the dance floor yet again.
the children danced with the Okai bear. The children stepped onto the dance floor yet again.
various meeting groups in their colorful attire dance with their very own.
are you enjoying this video please subscribe to jab tv click on the notification button like and share this video so that youtube will recommend it to others thank you the children danced individually with friends and well wishers starting from the first sound
And now, or woman you may call it ladies, aka quality, shook the venue with color, dance, love, and style as they celebrate with their very own.
Are you enjoying this video? Please subscribe to Jab TV. Click on the notification button, like and share this video so that YouTube will recommend it to others. Thank you.
prestige club of the prestigious ladies to turn on the dance floor. Thank you. 
Cincy Ladies Club mounted the dance floor in a very special way. Okorafo, and this is a program 
event on Jeb TV. Thank you so much for viewing this particular one. I do sincerely hope you enjoyed it. You know the part I love the most in this event is the different colors, different outfits of the meetings. We had like almost seven different meetings, if I'm not mistaken. We have series of meetings that graced this occasion. They were so colorful in their own ways. They danced with their loved one. They actually made the children to feel you are loved. Even though your father has departed, people are always there to show you love. We want to say thank you so much. There was enough to eat, enough to drink, a lot of entertainment all around the clock. Yeah. Thank you so much to the children, both those abroad, those in Nigeria, those who could not even attend the event for one reason or the other, but they were all with the children in their own special. We want to say a very big thank you to you from the entire family of the Ogbede Oyo and from the family of Osazu. Wow. Okay, thank you. This is where we'll be drawing a wrap on today's package. Please subscribe to Jeb TV today. Like and share our video. Greg, tell us what do you think? Drop your comments. Let the children of the late Pa Osazuwa feel how loved they are by you. Drop your comments on our comment session today and we will answer you accordingly. Use the phone numbers right there on your screen. Give us a call ahead of your event. And we will be there to capture your event. People call us all the way from the States just to book us for event held in Nigeria, held here in Africa, and we deliver. This particular one is not an exception. So please, wherever you may be in the world, call us today and we'll be there to capture your event. I remain sincerely yours for me, Okurafo, saying, Bye.